Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're a bit behind. Also, I do wanna give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that have reached out through email or on any of my social medias, please be patient. Uh, we are currently a bit behind on our, our, on our emails and social medias um, because of everything that's been going on in this pandemic. I've had to try to rearrange uh, certain things like consultations, etc., cetera, um, and also making sure that my family and everyone is being well taken care of. So um, I hope you guys are doing the same as well. So please be patient. Please, please understand the situation. I will get to you guys as quickly as I possibly can. Okay. All right. With that being said, let's get on to your reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <clears throat> for the month of May 2020. All right, let's see what spirit has for you guys. All right, Sagittarius, in regards to business and finances, you have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so for some of you guys walking away from a situation, um, perhaps uh, for some of you guys, it could have been whether you were laid off, um, taking some time off, or not being able to uh, physically work at the present time. Uh, the Eight of Cups does, uh, there is a promise here. This is um, something that has more to do with uh, faith as well as having um, trust in the universe. So I know that we are all, have been experiencing uh, on a global scale. Um, what comes to mind is like that of like, if you're not considered an essential worker, uh, for some of you guys, it could have been that you were laid off or that you're currently taking some time off, um, whether it's because you have to quarantine or because you're not considered an essential worker. Um, but the positive in this is I do see you guys walking towards a new moon. So you can see here the new moon right here, uh, which is indicative of a new beginning um, or, or concluding ending a cycle and going towards a new beginning, the, the stars aligning and bringing uh, light at the end of the tunnel. So what they're telling you here, Sagittarius, is try the best you can to have faith and to have trust and to believe in the universe and know uh, that things will definitely come out to the best of your interest, although it may take a process. Um, so try the best you can not to worry. Sometimes worrying doesn't really help us. If anything, it actually affects us. Uh, try the best you can to not create more blockages in your life. So try to maintain a positive outlook. Um, don't be so much like, uh, don't create negative self-talk to yourself. If you have a tendency of doing that, um, try to uh, deserve that type of energy towards uh, start to focus on more positive things um, to be able to raise your vibration okay all right so in regards to how you're going to be communicating for this month of May you have the ten of Pentacles wow okay just like I was saying here having faith and trusting in the universe you get the ten of Pentacles so again walking towards the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, there may be lack. Yes, there may be difficulties that you're currently going through. Yes, there is uncertainty at the present time, but you're walking towards stability. You're walking towards long-term uh, stability. You're walking towards finances that increase for you. So again, be patient, have trust, have faith. The universe will take care of you, Sagittarius. Um, in regards to communication, I see you guys being very communicative with family or the family dynamic. It could be that you're like constantly checking up on your parents, perhaps something you weren't doing as often, or checking on your children or your children checking up on you. Um, I think that we can all could relate to this at some point. And um, I think that if anything, uh, with this craziness that's going on worldwide, um, I think that it kind of has reeled, it, reeled us in to really focusing and understanding what really matters. And even if we don't like, you know, everyone's busy with their own lives. Everyone has a life to live and we have responsibilities, etc. And we often forget sometimes to check up on our parents, to check up on our grandparents, to check up on, you know, or even as children, we forget to check up on our parents, etc. And I think that this, although we're not being able to be like social 
I think that being able to pick up the phone and actually take time to make sure that your parents are good or that your grandparents are good, um, you know, like I said, it, it's really bringing us to what really matters at the end of the day. And I think that this is exactly the energy I'm getting. For some of you guys, this could even represent like if there's been some strain or some type of disruption in a family dynamic or with your kids um, or your kids not communicating with you. I definitely see like being able to communicate. I see communication coming through. I see a lot of healing that's happening within you guys. So again, it could be like healing past traumatic events from family members, um, even children, if children for some reason turned against you or they didn't communicate with you anymore. I see all of this, you know, coming in for you and it's a very loving type of energy. So if there's been like healing that needed to happen, I pray that this is that healing that's happening that they're showing me right now for you guys. Okay. All right. So in regards to the obstacle that currently you need to overcome for this month of May is the page of wands. So the page of wands is basically telling you here, uh, Sagittarius, don't be quick and hasty to make decisions and don't be quick and hasty to spend money. Um, if money comes in or there's an opportunity of like something coming in that you weren't expecting, whether it was a bonus, whether it's a check, whether it's whatever the situation may be, money is definitely coming in for you. Um, but they're telling you be wise with it. Okay. Don't be quick and hasty, uh, to either spend it or don't be quick and hasty to like, um, make irrational decisions that later on you may actually feel like, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, be very methodical in how you spend your money or how you're able to uh, take care of all your responsibilities. Um, I see unexpected money coming for you guys though. So I don't know if it has something to do like with work. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with like, uh, you know, where you felt like you weren't getting a check, you weren't getting money, you weren't, that help finally comes through. So again, um, take the messages for what they are. All right. And finally, Spirit, please give me the card for Sagittarius in regards to love and romance. So you have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So I see someone coming in, um, trying to make contact or trying to communicate with you. It could be a, uh, not fire, sorry. It could be an air energy, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra type of energy. Uh, for others of you, it could be actually dealing with like a child that could be an air energy, uh, very immature type of energy. But I feel that, um, again, they're talking to me about healing. So if there was some type of healing that needed to happen, I feel that it finally comes through and it could be based off of their like impulsiveness. Um, if this is like, a child that you've had like difficulties in the past or you guys just can't get along um, I feel them coming in or reaching out to you based off impulsion but then later on they understand that this this needed to happen in order to be able to uh, make that healing you know process begin um, for others of you this could represent because it is in love and romance this could represent a person or a partner uh, being a little bit like very quick and hasty is what they're telling me. So it could be them, the ones that are encouraging you to either spend or to lend them money or um, something like they're very impulsive and I see them like trying to convince you. Uh, here's the thing, Sagittarius, if this is a child that comes to you where there hasn't been communication and the communication happens. And the reason why is because they're very impulsive and they're needing financial help. You got to put your foot down. You got to put your foot down and let them know like, hey, enough is enough. You're old enough. Figure it out on your own. Because I feel that if you should help them, you're doing a disservice to them um, because they're not like growing up or they're choosing not to grow up. So again, if this has to do with like borrowing money or asking for help, let them stand on their ground. Let them figure it out. Um, I'm not completely saying to forsake them. I'm not sure what the situation is, but they are telling me like you got to put your foot down because if not, they're going to keep taking and taking. Okay. And this could even be in regards to relationships, you guys. So if you've dealt with someone 
that has, you know, um, like narcissistic tendencies or a person that is very selfish and very like egocentric and it's like me, 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 it's all about me. And they come back around and try to like help or convince you, telling you like their horrific stories to see if they can get some help from you. Put your foot down. Don't fall for that, Sagittarius. Put your foot down and let them know like, hey, life is hard for everyone. We're trying to figure it out as it goes. Like figure it out on your own and the fudge away from me. All right. All right. So let's see what Spirit's uh, general advice is here. What the main message for you for this month of May 2020 is. Okay, I'm going to pull this card out. All right, Sagittarius, you have man holding a heart. So this could represent uh, an offering coming through for you. For some of you guys, this could be this person coming back around. If you were dealing with a narcissistic type of energy, them coming back around and promising you love, um, promising you that they're ready to take it to the next level or that they're ready to work on the relationship. Um, and then the more you get to talk to them, the more like their card of needing financial help starts to come out. Um, be, like I said, be mindful about that and don't fall for it. Um, this could also represent you love coming towards you though, Sagittarian, especially those of you guys that are single and have been single for a while. Man holding a heart could represent an offering of love coming through for you. With the 10 of pentacles, this could also indicate uh, being able to uh, being able to embrace a new beginning that brings you much more emotional stability. Um, of course, keeping in mind uh, closing your door or closing, um, stop giving the opportunity to a person from your past to keep coming, popping into your life whenever they choose to. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. And I hope that you guys are doing everything you possibly can to stay safe. I wish you and all your family and loved ones um, safe journeys right now and stay indoors as much as possible and we will see each other soon. Till then, talk to you guys soon. Bye.